Hi everyone, this is Alf Activist here with the Actiris team. Today we have another exciting use case for you for the sales and operations process, specifically around how you can create new products and copy existing data from a similar product as a starting point for your demand plan process. Whether you're trying to run a what if scenario if you create a new product, or of course, if you have a new product introduction and you wanna be able to use existing data as a starting point, and then run some cannibalization analysis on those products. Now, before we get started, let's talk about a typical challenge uh, many companies face uh, when dealing with new product creation and seeding data into that new product using existing products that are very similar to that product. Typically, we see this within Excel, and this can be quite cumbersome to keep track of because what if somebody is adding a product to a specific spreadsheet uh, that isn't being utilized by another team member? Uh, it could be quite cumbersome to be able to keep track of new product introductions just due to master data management being quite a challenge within typical processes that are revolved around Excel or other products that don't have that capability. With Actiris, it's very simple to be able to create a new product, make that product available for all of your regional demand planning, and then copy data into that product from an existing product as a starting point. Let's show you how easy that is within our Actiris visuals. What you can see right here is that I have the ability to left click on any individual value in my Actiris table edit visual right here. And right now, I'm gonna assume that we're gonna be introducing a new ThinkPad product called the ThinkPad X2 Carbon. So what I can do with this right here is I can left click on this particular product and utilizing the duplicate record feature within our table edit visual, I can use this as a starting point to copy all of my equivalent values for this. So the subcategory, the category, and the production plan we're planning to make this product out. I can change the name of this product to ThinkPad X2 Carbon since we have another version coming out. And then after doing so, I can go ahead and hit save. Once I create this product, this product is now going to be available as we can see at the bottom right. After creating this product, now that we have this available within our system across all of our various different reports, we can then utilize our copy feature to move that move data into that product as a starting point rather than having to do a zero-based forecast. Line. So utilizing the add row feature here, I can choose what product to copy data from. So I'm going to go ahead and type in ThinkPad and go ahead and grab my original ThinkPad X1 Carbon product. And then for product two, which is gonna be where I'm gonna copy data to, I'm gonna go ahead and look for the ThinkPad X2 Carbon. And I can see right here that that is the product. Utilizing the scenario forecast, we're gonna move all the data from the forecast scenario for ThinkPad X1 Carbon to X2. So I can go ahead and save my changes right here. And this will kick off a process to move all that data into that new product. And we can see right here that a new product has been generated and there's ThinkPad X2 Carbon now available right here. And just like that, we were able to quickly move all of the ThinkPad X1 Carbon 1 data, which was similar to X2 Carbon. And we can now go into doing appropriate demand planning and making reductions to existing demand planning for our original product that might potentially be cannibalized. So I hope you enjoyed this quick use case on how you can quickly copy products uh, or add products and then copy data from one product to another at the couple clicks of a button utilizing Actiris Vision. Thank you, and this is Alp Actinus with the Actiris team, signing out.